Hello, in this week's video, I'm looking at a poster and flyer design site called DesignCap. So it's designcap.com. You can sign up with either your Facebook login or your email, but you don't need to sign up. You can just click on the Make Poster and Flyer. Let's wait for that to do its thing. So I'm a firm believer that one of the key digital skills is that the skill to create content um, and students need to be able to create content on a variety of different sites. So down the left hand side we've got templates. There's different themes that you can choose your theme. So we can choose education but all posters are the same size. So posters are typically a two in size, but you'll see the size is displayed in millimeters down the bottom. It would be nice to see if they had a the size coming up as you rolled over the image so you knew whether it was a poster or a flyer. So you can edit one of their posters. And you can see, have you select an image? You've got properties, you can rotate it, you can alter its position within the layer, you can move it forward, and you can delete it. So I'm just going to clear this canvas and we'll go through and make our own poster. So that'll do for the purposes of that. So we can go to photos, we can add one of the photos from there, we can import our photos from Facebook, we can also search uh, Pixabay for images. So I can do a search there and I can find an image and I can add that image in. I can size it, I can position it where I want, so I can rotate it, I can flip it horizontally or vertically, if I go to effect I can alter the opacity of it as well. Back to properties, I can crop the image, I can duplicate it and I can delete it. So I've got an image, I come down the left hand side, I can choose text and I can either have a heading, a subheading or body text. So let's, or I can choose one of their custom fonts. So let's try some word art. As it says, I can double click to edit it. I can then choose from a variety of fonts that I like the look of. And you can just scroll up and down and choose a font that you think works. You can then alter the size. I just drag that up out of the way a sec. You can alter the size so, or you can just pick it and drag it by grabbing hold of the four points around the outside. You can rotate the text by clicking on the rotate icon. You can alter the color of the text. So if we click on there, we can alter the color of the, the text. We can align it, we can underline it, and we can make it bold. We go to properties. Again, we can duplicate it, we can move it within a layer. We go to effect at the moment, it's got an outline. We can turn off the outline or potentially add a glow to help our text stay out and we can alter the blur and the radius of that there. So that's that. If we carry on further down, then we've got a variety of clip art there. So we've got lots of icons, so we can choose a shape. And we've got lines, so we can add a line. We can change the color of the line. We can alter its opacity. We go to properties. Again, we can move it up and down. So 
to position it there. We can move it behind our picture. We can also go to icons and choose an icon. And again, we can do the same sort of thing with it. We can move it around the space. We go to effect, we can alter the color of it as well. So we can make it, keep it in, in our theme. And again, we can position it where we want it within our picture. And click on our picture, we can drag that. So you can see lots of flexibility with the editing. And we keep going down got emoticons and you've got a variety of, of icons so are based on particular themes so in the case of this family and you can choose certain things and, and again add them alter their color their opacity and their position within your picture so you get the idea you can also search for clip art online as well but i think their built-in one is great and then the final thing you can do is you can choose a background color now obviously that doesn't quite work we'll change the color of the text something warmer and you can play around with it until you get the look and feel that you want but really nice and easy to use and then when you're finished, you've got a choice of saving it. If you've signed in, you can share it. Via your social media. You can also print it. Now I haven't got a printer attached to my, my machine but you could print it there. If you click on the dots, you can load and save projects if you've signed in. So there you have it, a quick look at Design Cap, a really easy to use poster and flyer creating tool. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please like it, comment on the video, share it. Remember to subscribe.